Good morning everybody, it's Neil here from ASCAD Services. I'm going to show you something a bit different today. Um, of course it's going to be advanced or related, but it's not going to be modelling. Um, it's to do with NC files. And uh, when I create NC files for companies, let's go to output. I use the default settings, so you can see on the uh, output ribbon, NC and DXF, there's a button here, NC settings. And uh, what I do, I use the default settings. So the file extension name, this is the file number, this is the part number. Then the file extension name is NC. Well, one of my customers came to me recently, a very good customer, and they've changed their equipment that they use for their um, laser cutting or whatever. And uh, they've asked, can I supply NC1 files? Of course I can. What I could do, I could just go in here, change that to NC1, because there's actually no difference between an NC file with a uh, beg your pardon, an NC file with an extension of NC, and an NC file with an extension of NC1. The only difference is that one on the end. So what I could do, I could change this to NC1 in the settings based on single part, OK, and then produce the NC files. But in this case, I've already done them, and there's quite a lot of them, nearly a hundred in several different levels of the drawing. So what I want to do, I don't want to delete them and have to redo them all again. So I just want to change the file extension. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you a little dodge how to do that. And this is all based around um, the DOS commands. This was pre-Windows for you younger fellows. This is before we had uh, uh, all the uh, Windows interface, we had to do everything through DOS commands, write batch files, take two days to install a new uh, scanner, for instance, and uh, a good time was had by all. But anyway, some things linger, and I remember how to do this. So what we need to do, we're going to open the command window to start with, and what we're going to do is just go into the window start menu, and in the blank space here, we can start type in command prompt. I only got as far as the O and it came up. And I'm going to do this via the DOS command. So I can type commands into this. And what I'm going to do, I need to go and find my NC files. Well, what I've done, I've stripped them out of the jobs. So this is uh, six different levels. And I've taken the NC files out of each one and I put them in its own folder. The only reason I've done that is because the original one is buried deep in the system and the uh, the path to the file that I'm looking for or the directory I'm looking for will be about a mile long. So to simplify it, I just put this in a temporary folder on my C drive. And uh, there it is. But you can see in here, for instance, if I look at this, 107 items in here. Imagine changing all those either manually or deleting them and reproducing them in in, uh, in the model. A bit long wind, I don't need to do that. I can do it direct from the DOS command. And how we do it is this. Let's open this one as well so we can see what's going on. What I need to do, I need to type in this path to the NC files here, okay? So the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go CD backslash. That's gonna take me here. I could have gone direct CD temp, blah, 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 blah. But I'm going to show you, in case yours is different, if you go CD backslash, it'll bring you back to the root directory of your computer system. So this is the C drive we're looking at now. And I can type CD, change directory, space, temp, NC. It's not case sensitive. Backslash, uh, level A. Backslash, and then I've got a folder in there called NC, so we're going to go to that NC there. Okay, I'm in there now. What I can do, I can interrogate this folder just to make sure we're in the right one. And how I interrogate it, I type DIR, directory. And you can see here are all my NC files, file names, NC extension. And what I want to do is change this extension. So how I do that, I use another command now, REN, rename, space. Now, I don't want to change the name of the actual uh, file itself, so I'm going to put a star in there. That says, look for any file name, so I'm not being specific. So this is a wildcard. The asterisk there is a wildcard. Dot, 
NC. So look for any file with the extension NC. Space and change it to any file dot NC1. So what this is going to do is going to retain the part number, the file name. All it's going to change is the uh, file extension. So we hit enter. Done. As quick as that. If I type PIR again, they are like the old NC1 now. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go CD backslash. I'm going to go back to the C prompt again. I'm going to run through that again. So this time it's going to be CD temp backslash level B. I'll put some capitals in this time. Just have it, but uh, we don't need to do that. So it's not temp, it's temp NC. Beg your pardon. So we just change that. Temp NC. NC backslash. No, B backslash and C. Gosh, right, there we are. Okay, DIR, there they are, 107 files. We're going to rename them, REN, wildcard, dot, NC, look for any file with the extension NC, then change it to any file with the extension NC1. Enter, done, just DIR check. There it is. So as quick and as easy as that, you can change the extensions. There's no, you don't need to delete the NC files and recreate them. Just go to the folder, and of course, as I said, I put mine in a temp NC folder just to make the exercise a bit easier or quicker for you guys. But you can just type the path if you know where they are. You can look, go and find them. You'll have the file path up here, and you can just write it, type it into uh, this line. That's it. So uh, nice, uh, quick and easy one. And hopefully it will make your life quick and easy if you had to change the name of a lot of NC files all at once. And um, that's it. I'm going to get back to my Sunday morning, uh, have some breakfast and then uh, start work on some advanced deal projects because you can't have too much of a good thing. <laughs> so anyway, guys, enjoy your advanced deal. And until next time, um, Cheerio.